Welcome. In this video, I will provide an overview of the Project Pipeline Tracker Excel template. This template can be used in scenarios where we are managing a lot of projects and all the projects go through the same set of predefined stages. And we want to automatically calculate metrics such as how long does a project take on average to complete? What are the bottlenecks in our project lifecycle? Are there some stages of the project which take longer? And are we improving on reducing the time it takes for certain stages of the project? So this template can be used in those scenarios to automatically calculate the metrics. And this template is available from nzara.com for free and you can download this template anytime and use it for your own project management needs. Now, let's go and take a look at the template itself. I have filled the template with some sample data so that it's easier to illustrate the features in this template. You can input your own data in this template when you download it. And so we begin with the data sheet where we have two key data inputs. So one is the stages in our project pipeline. By default, I have entered these six stages in our project lifecycle and you can rename these six if you have six stages you can definitely click and rename uh, anything to say something like this finalize so this could be your six stages or if you don't have six stages then for example if you have only five stages you can click on the sixth stage name press the delete key and now you have only five stages in your uh, pipeline so you can change it very easily to meet your business needs now that's the first input the second is the set of projects these are each row indicates a separate project and uh, basically I have project ID and name those two fields and then we have the start date of each project and then the next six columns are stage completion dates so for example this stage one date is the date when each project completes the first stage, which is in this example data, the first stage is research. So the date when research is completed for project one was 6th May. And similarly for other stages, whenever the project is completing a certain stage, enter the date. That's all we need to do to track the performance of the project. We have two additional columns towards the end type and owner, and these are provided to store any information that you want about the uh, uh, project. So you can definitely rename it uh, to, you know, call it client or something if you're working on projects for different clients and then put your client names in there. So now you can use these two fields to store those information. The last four are calculated fields, so please don't edit them. And these have calculations to for uh, defining the current states for each project, it'll cal calculate which stage is the project currently in based on the dates we have entered. So for example, for first project, we have completed stage three, which is develop uh, on May 15th, and we haven't done anything yet in the fourth stage, which means it's still wo being worked on the fourth stage. And that, that is something important to remember that this template is applicable for scenarios where the projects go through these stages in serial fashion. So which means first research is done, then approval begins and approval is done, and then develop begins and develop is completed, and then test begins and test is completed and so on. So the current stage is calculated automatically. Completion date, once the um, project has gone through all the stages uh, of the project, then completion date will be automatically calculated. And then the duration is how long did it take for the project to complete or for ongoing active projects, it is the duration from the start date to today. Validation will check for a couple of different errors. So if, for example, this one has an error and this project will not be included in calculations because we have not entered stage one date, whereas stage two date is present. So this is not likely that we missed stage one and went to stage two. So you need to have a, a date here and that's why we see an error message. The other error that we check for is whether these dates are sequential. For example, you cannot finish stage two. Uh, for example, stage two ends on 13th May, but if I put in 14th May, stage one was completed, that 
doesn't make sense so you will see an error message so those are the couple of errors types that the template will check for and give you an indication whether there is an error or not so that's pretty much it um, now let's look at what output we get uh, in terms of final calculations or aggregated metrics first the active pipeline so we will see that in this case eight projects are currently ongoing based on the data that we have entered here and which stage are they currently in? One project is in the research stage, two are in approval and so on. So you'll get an instant view of the active pipeline of your projects. Then of the ones that we have entered here, how many have been completed? Totally five have been completed. And how long does it take for a project on average to complete 19 days? And how is that 19 distributed across these stages? And you can see that research yellow takes 3.6 days and approval takes three days, develop takes 2.6 days. So when you add all these, you get 19 days. So that is how your project lifecycle is broken down on average. So one thing to keep in mind is that please do not rename the stage date fields. Please do not rename them because calculations are depending on the specific names. So please do not rename them. Okay, so now let's go to the active pipeline sheet. This is where the active pipeline will be shown along with specific projects. So just like we saw in the previous sheet, we have at the top, we have the number of projects in each stage currently, but also under each stage, we can see up to five projects and the project name, project ID and type and manager or owner are shown here and when you rename this field and use it for your own purpose, uh, you will get those information passed through automatically as well. So it's built such a way that it'll be able to grab those information. So this is a very good overview of what projects are there in each of these specific stages. That's pretty much it. Then we go to the report sheet where we have a monthly aggregated set of metrics, basically for the current month, June, because now we are in June, and then it'll go back up to 12 months. So from June all the way through July of last year, if we have data entered. I have only data entered for the last four months or so, and that's why I see only four months here. But if you enter more data, up to 12 months can be displayed. And in each month, we will know how many projects were completed that month, uh, what was the average duration of the project for those projects, and then each st uh, specific stage, how long did it take? And this is also visually displayed also in a uh, chart where we can see if, if the bar length is longer, that means it took longer. So for example, in May, it took totally uh, 17 days uh, to complete a project versus June, uh, only nine days and April, it was 28 days and March is 20. So you can also see the breakdown of individual stages. So if there is a uh, dramatic fluctuation, like for example, uh, uh, test stage, it took three days in May, but on average it took 10 days in April completed project. So you can see the variation uh, or the changes in the trends in terms of how each stage is contributing to the overall duration. So this is fully automated, so it'll automatically get populated. There's nothing to enter here. Active pipeline, fully automated. You just view and you can just definitely uh, print or export to PDF if you like uh, using the standard Excel features. And again, to add more projects, just click here and then type 15, for example, and then start typing your name and the dates. And then that's pretty much it. Automatically, you'll see the, the project metrics at the top get calculated. So let me just do 15 and I will enter a date and you'll see immediately that this project now went into the research uh, pipeline uh, for active pipeline in the research stage. And as I enter another date, for example, let's say I went, made this project to go through the completing the research stage on 5th June. So it moves from this to approval. And then as I enter the approval date, it'll move to the develop. And then as I keep entering and completing the sixth stage, it'll move into the completed projects from the active pipeline. So everything is instant. Uh, this is a great view as you can enter the data and also get a view of the current metrics. So if you have any questions about this template, please let me know in the comments. 
this is the first version of the template. As always, we look for feedback uh, and suggestions to how to make this template uh, more useful for a lot more people. So I definitely look forward to those suggestions so that I can continue to build additional features to enhance this template with the next version. Thank you very much for watching this video.